Hello, good afternoon, this is Diecast Loon and I hope you're all doing well. And uh, today is going to be a matchbox day again. But uh, at last, I've actually found some up-to-date matchbox. There's been no matchbox at all um, in my local Tesco's Extra where I get them from. Just absolutely nothing. Um, it's the only place that sells the up-to-date matchbox. And uh, at last, they finally got some new stuff in so we're going to take a look at that so we've got a five pack to look at and some uh, normal just matchbox basics but anyway we'll get straight into it and pan the camera down and we'll look, we'll look at the basics first so we have got so, so look, we've got the 2016 alfa romeo galar glant, glant gulia sorry gulia but anyway we're going to crack get open first and as usual, they don't want to open. Let's just put the camera down a bit more. And there we go. Excellent little car. And it is like a pearl white with these usual black, black, black matchbox black five spokes that I, I do think are very cool. But very, very nicely done. So all tampoed in nicely, Gulia on the back. See the Alfa Romeo badge. And the grill's done and the lights. So very nice little casting. And it's so it's so nice to finally find some matchbox. So as you can see, 2016 Alfa Romeo and 2019 copyright. But that is a good start. And like I said, I've been I've been waiting for ages. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, there's just been absolutely nothing. The, the the hot wheels have been shaky, to be honest. Um, the night burners uh, five pack was the best that I found recently. That was a lucky find, considering we've had such a drought down here at the moment. But uh, so anyway, like I said, for the minute it looks like it's over for the minute. So that's a good start. So that's the Alfa Romeo. So just put that to the back for a second. Then we've got this. It is a Subaru Samba, Zamba, Samba, which is very cool. So there's the card art. But let's see if we can get into this without. No, I never get into these things properly. That's better. And there it is. Very, very cool little thing. Very, very small in real life. I've never actually seen one of these, but I've seen the Honda version. They all, I think, Daihatsu, Subaru, Honda, they all did a minivan with the engine sort of, I believe, is there. But very, very cool little van nonetheless. Very nicely done in this, in this uh, black, straight black. Got the Subaru badge, tampoed lights, and all the rear's done. But very very nice and it is have a look underneath 2018 copyright so yeah that's a cool piece to find so yeah very cool and like i said what i like about matchbox lately is they are they're just they said they're just um they're making lots of plain cars which is great and then talking of plain cars it's gonna pop the camera up a little bit more so you can see the cars we got this mbx garbage scout now, I don't think this is a licensed casting. I might be wrong. But uh, nonetheless, it's pretty cool. Just have a little check. But anyway, let's get into it. No. No. And there it is. Gold wing on the side, as you can see. It says gold wing. And this doesn't move, but I think, yeah, this comes off. So you've got your little garbage chute or your rubbish chute or whatever you want to call it, little bin. Clips on there. And it's uh, MBX Garbage Scout. But yeah, pretty cool nonetheless. <clears throat> like I said, I'm not bothered. I'm just so happy to find some basic matchbox. It's been months and months. <clears throat> Excuse me. And then the next one is going to be this 
God, I've really got problems with the camera again today and it's focused. I'm sorry, it's not liking it at all. Tesla Roaster in this sort of a, I'm not quite sure, matte sort of finish. Let's try and open it a bit better. No, I'm not having any luck today. I'm really not getting into these very easily. And let's put the camera down probably again. Up and down, up and down. And there it is. So very nicely done. Tesla. Got some plate detail, which I can't quite make out because the camera's zero. I kind of, the camera's being silly. But not for much longer because I am updating my phone. I am getting a lot better phone soon. So we'll have hopefully less of the shenanigans. But very aggressive looking car. Very cool looking car. Very aggressive looking front, you got the Tesla badge, the lights have done very well. Yeah, very nice. The wheels are good. Sunshine roof, or moon roof, whatever they call it. And it says 2020 Tesla Roaster, 2020 copyright. So very cool. And then the last one of the basics, <coughs> excuse me, I really have, should have a drink up here really. Um, is the Subaru SVX, which I'm not familiar with, but I do. I have seen it advertised somewhere else. This is one. Of, I think this is like a Rio Asada tribute car. As you can see, his name is there. Um, most probably because this is he used to work for Matchbox, I believe, before he went to Hot Wheels, and this is probably one of his. I expect this is one of his designs that they've bought back out in tribute, which is a nice thing. So again, let's see if we can get into it. No. I really don't want to open today. And there it is. Nicely done. All plastic top. But other than that, it is done very nicely. And you've got a Sada on the plate, which is pretty cool. That's a nice tribute. And it says Subaru SVX 2018 copyright. So yeah, very, very cool. But yeah, so that's the matchbox, the basic matchbox that I picked up, um, which is pretty cool. And there's plenty more there, so I will have to go back and pick some more up. <clears throat> and then we'll just bring the camera up again, so I do apologize. And bring it back a bit. So, so we've got this Matchbox 5-pack, Autobahn Express. And there is the, <coughs> excuse me, Land Rover 1969 BMW 2002, Aston Martin DBS Volant. Can't quite see it, Volant. And Porsche Panamera and is the Ford GT. 2005 Ford GT. So let's have a look. Can we get into this without causing loads of problems? Let's have a look. All right, two seconds. I'll just I think I'm going to pause the camera. No, now I've got it. And the first one, well, I think we'll look at the uh, Land Rover in the police livery, I think. Pulitzer, so quite cool. It's a bit of a shame, got a massive pillar there, but I suppose they've got to keep them together somehow. No tampos anywhere, but still pretty cool. Land Rover 90, 2015 copyright. Not a bad little start, so that's pretty cool. And then the second one is going to be the BMW 2002, which is a favourite of mine. I do like these cars. I've been after a Matchbox one for a while. The Hot Wheels one is cool, but the standard Matchbox one is all tampered in quite nicely, as you can see. It's got plate detail, lock detail. The lights are done. So very nice with these standard dog dish looking hubcap type wheels going on. Got a brown interior. And that front's done very nice. Just have a little look if it's 
yeah very nicely done so yes yeah, so that's pretty cool so that's the 2002 bmw let's just look at the copyright one a minute actually let's have a look and it is 2018 copyright so yeah very cool and then the aston martin db5 convertible and again it's in like a pearl white color and you've got dbs on the back what did i call it a db5 what did i call it a db5 dbs i apologize i call it a db5 it's dbs Valant. but i actually quite like that it's not too bad at all but yeah tampo front good color choice but yeah very nice so that is the dbs not the db5 and then the Porsche Panamera in yellow, which is, uh, you either like them or you don't. I'm I'm not quite sure on these, but still it's done quite nicely. Plate detail, all the backs tampoed in. And that says Porsche at the top there. And the Porsche logo's on the front, lights tampoed on the front, and what looks like the lower lights, but very nice. 2017 copyright Porsche Panamera 2010 but yeah not too bad not too bad at all done very nice like I said just not my particular favorite and then this is the 2005 I believe look. 2005 Ford GT which is pretty cool but no tampo back bit of engine detail this may be a wheel candidate for a wheel swap at some point, I believe. I think I may. I'm just trying to look to see if, if I'm not mistaken, the back wheels are bigger than the front wheels. So it's like the Hot Wheels, it's got like a Hot Wheels setup. You've got large in the back and small in the front, which is unusual for Matchbox. At least I think it is. But roof stripes, engine detail, and the front's all tampered in. You've got the Ford badge, is clearly legible, which is nice. But yeah, this would be a pretty good candidate for a wheel swap at some point. I believe I'm going to. 2005 Ford GT. 2004 copyright. Uh, can't see, got glare again. But anyway, pretty cool. So that's today's cars. Apologise if I sound. I'm just, I've had a, there goes my lamp. I had a bit of a hectic night yesterday. So last night, I should say. So not had a lot of sleep. So, um. If I sound a bit like I'm not so enthusiastic and making a few mistakes, I'm just tired. Everything's fine. But anyway, like I said, everything's uh, this is this has been a good a good day because like I said, I've been waiting for ages for some matchbox to come along. But anyway, please like, share, subscribe if you uh, like this kind of content, and uh, I will see you all very soon on the next video. Thanks for stopping by.